Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Structural RV here in Frederick, Colorado. It's yours truly, Marlon Bledman. And I'm proud today to bring you our last of our 2021's M2-106 Summit Hauler Conversion. This is our new design when it comes to the bed. And of course, the interior, we got a few upgrades as well. Last video, we're going to show you guys our white M2-106 when it came in, but we didn't have time actually video videoing that uh, particular unit. But we do have photos online that we put there. But I want to show you guys the black exterior of our final 2021 Summit Hauler Conversion Freightliner M2-106. It's going to give you guys a minute to just look at our new design. And of course, there is a few upgrades you guys can see straight off. So we're going to start up here and then go to the engine. But some of the upgrades that we did is our step heading into the cab. On our previous truck, we had our diamond plate step going in and out. But with more research, people prefer that style of the rubber going in and out of the, of the cab. Where our gas and where our diesel and def tank is located, we do have a cover now. And that cover locks, if in case you want to protect your diesel when parked in wet areas. So we do have a lock on this one. When you open that up, you, do, you can see one of your 50 gallon tanks. And we do have dual tanks on there, two 50 gallon tanks. And of course, we got a six gallon def tank. All that will be filled up on purchase. Again, we added more lights across the whole unit. You do have your engine block heater up here for cold days like today. And of course, we do have the trickle charger for your batteries. We kind of put it kind of similar to where the batteries are located. So it's right underneath that back passenger seat. So that trickle charger here plug-in is, direct, um, is directly near your batteries. Let's take a look at the engine. What you guys are looking at is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. And it's also partnered with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission, six-speed automatic transmission. Again, even though this vehicle is brand new, when it came to our shop, we sent it through our service department, make sure there was no air leaks. Filters were changed, even though it's only 2,000 miles. We made sure everything was in a working condition. Looking at the tires down here, again, sorry, back to the engine. You guys are looking at an engine that will produce 350 horsepower and about 1150 foot-pounds of torque. Again, this is just a great unit. Coming down here, you're looking at our Michelin tires. You're looking at 255 80R22.5s. Let's take a look at the front. Again, with the Freightliners, you have that soft close hood. Very easy for anyone to be able to pretty much operate. Of course, you got our Summit Hauler logo. And that design was made by the C9 company. We got a chrome three-piece bumper. And of course, the attachment at the bottom, it is in three pieces as well. So if any part is damaged, you guys could actually replace whatever part that is damaged. So if you hit that right side of the vehicle, you could actually replace just that right side, not changing out the whole front bumper and grill. The headlights, we got the black interior of the headlights in here. And of course, it's LED, which gives you real nice, bright white lights at night. So nice little feature here. We will have pictures on the website pretty soon. But if you guys are wondering, the stock number for this unit is 5N210131. We do have that chrome visor. Right above that, we have our dual horns, air horns, that is. 
We do have a CB radio pre-wired on this unit. The top mirrors are heated and of course electric. And we have your bottom mirror as well, which is manually adjusted. Take a look on the inside. You guys are looking at black leather seats, air ride. This one is only heated, but it is the air ride. Very comfortable seats. Carbon fiber highlights throughout the inside of the truck. Handles, you have that carbon fiber look. Another upgrade we did to this, check out the door now, guys. Totally different. We have our Summit Hauler logo on the bottom here and our Cadmood sound system. So on all four doors, you'll get those speakers in that angle, which gives you way great quality sound. Underneath the driver's seat, we have our disconnect. So when you're not using that, when you're not using the truck, you could actually turn that battery disconnect off. It will shut all power to the truck, which saves a lot of battery life when you're not using this vehicle. Let's take a look at the back seat. Of course, we got our famous bench seat that folds into a bed. Again, the way we designed those seats are very comfortable. We now have our adjustable switch on the door handle now. And now you can see the amount of space in here. I'm gonna take a quick sit in here so I can show you guys how much room there is. Tons of leg room, tons of head room. And that's one of the big things a lot of people go for switching from one tons into a Freightliner is the, the amount of space, the safety factor when it comes to our Freightliners or all the Freightliners on the market. The amount of room we have in here, kids could be comfortable. Your legs will be, you know, decent when driving. You have tons of leg room. Not forgetting the amount of charging capability you have now. We got four different USB ports. We got a few 110 plugins here. And of course, 12 volt plugins. So you have tons of options. You also have two cup holders in the back. If you open up the seat right here, you got an extra two cup holders. And of course, this becomes an armrest at the same time if you have only two passengers in here. Another upgrade we did, we got rid of the uh, DVD player. And that's something a lot of customers don't use too much. Again, if you guys decide to put a DVD player in here for your kids, there are those that could attach straight on the, the headrest of the driver and passenger seat. You could actually install one in here. But in case you guys need to do anything apart from that, have a portable DVD player. Of course, you do have some plugins here to, to do it with your nine volts or your 110 plugin. But we got rid of that just because a lot of people don't use it. And if you do decide to use it, there's other options we could put on here. When it comes to our ceiling mood light, this is a new design. Just makes this cab look so luxurious. Uh, it's just awesome, just the way the LED lights go up all the way to the ceiling. Again, you have different options here for reading lights. So once all the doors are closed, those lights will come on. So this is where your switches are right now. So we're gonna take a quick run around the truck. Again, I wanna show you guys that other speaker on the back end of this unit with our Summit Hauler logo. So you will find that design on all four doors. Our storage compartments, nice and big. You do have an airline right here. If you guys wanna air up your tires, on your trailers or on your truck. Dual tires in the back. And of course you do get the auto balances on, our, on those trucks. A nice little storage box in the back. 
a few areas to step on to go in and out of the truck. And what we did to the diamond plate on this particular truck is we spray bed line the yeah we spray bed line the uh, the diamond plate on there, which makes it you know all put together with the whole black theme we were trying to put on this truck. Again, you do have an option if you want to add a storage box in the back end. We do have a good we have our, our parts department will be able to order that for you. Very easy to install. Again, as you guys can see right now, there is no hitch on there. We want the customer to make the decision if they want a fifth wheel hitch or a gooseneck ball. So we have the option here. Everything is already pre-drilled for those hitches. So if you guys decide you want to go fully uh, gooseneck or if you want to go with your the Hensley, Hensley trailer saver hitch, we could easily install that within a few hours. So if you guys decide to jump on this truck today, you could live with this truck in a few hours. Just give us a couple hours to put the whatever hitch you decide to put on there. But with that, you got a seven pin hookup here for your trailer. You got a 20,000 pound bumper hitch. You also have a connection here for your Voyager camera system. Will allow you to plug in additional two cameras. Right now we got a night vision camera hooked up on here. This one is from the Voyager um, camera system. All LED lights throughout this throughout this um, truck. More storage in the back here, and another storage box in here. And they are all lit. So at night, once you open the doors, the lights will come on automatically. This is the other. 50 gallon diesel tank we got on this truck. Again, this side is lockable as well. So let's go inside, warm up a little bit, and kind of show you guys what our dash and all the interior looks like. For all those just tuning in, we are walking around our last of our 2021 Summit Hauler Conversion Freightliner M2106. All black exterior and interior. We do have that carbon fiber feature up here, all designed into the vehicle. So we're gonna start up up here. We have our Voyager camera system. Right now we only have one camera installed. You could add an additional three cameras to this system. Typically, people put cameras on either side of the vehicle, one up front, one on the bumper hitch. It all depends on how you want it. That will work for you. Um, you have that option here for free ad additional cameras. Storage here and up here. We got some lights underneath here as we come down. We got a bigger screen from what we typically put in there. This is a larger um, Stinger sound system. This one does come with navigation. It does have navigation. It does have Apple and Android capability. It also have FM, AM, and satellite radio. Fully loaded right here. It does have an auxiliary input if you want to send a send music or whatever you want through a, one of those MP3 players and stuff like that. You could also, you could also add cameras to this one. We didn't add a camera because we have our popular Voyager camera system, which a lot of people like. So we kept the cameras up here. But again, if you want to add additional cameras, you can put that onto this particular vehicle um, stereo. So underneath here, we got your power windows. We got your red dump. You have your light test. And of course, you got your optional switch. This optional switch here will turn on those backlights. So when you backing into your trailer at night those lights will actually sh shine to the back and actually give you light to hook up your trailers at night you have your cruise control this is to turn on that cruise control down to set and then up to accelerate 
So right now you could actually hear the engine accelerating right now. Turn off and then you could switch it off. If you have your manual regen, you got your red differential lock, you got your mirror heat, you got your marker light, you got a couple USB plugins. We do have our rear heat and AC controls. So the red is for our heat in the back. You got three settings, low, medium, and high. All the way down is low, no lights on, switch in the center is off, and the blue is for your AC. For the rest of the cab, you got your, your controls over here. This is your fan levels, one to four, your circulating button, the different moods, and of course your different temperatures up here. This little circle up here, we got a sub underneath the seat. This is your sub control. If you want to raise the, the sub, the subwoofer. Right here, we got your USB and HDMI cable. The USB here will actually connect your phone to Apple or Android on a stereo. And of course, you got your Red Arc trailer braking system, which is nice and small when it comes to a big truck like this so you don't have a big trailer brake system here the red arc is a very high high standard uh, trailer brake very easy to use again we have all the manuals we have certain videos online that will show you how to use this particular trailer brake system if you guys are not accustomed to it and of course it is one of the top of the line trailer brake system on the market right now your engine brake or if you guys call it your J brake you do have a high, a low, sorry, and high setting. If you go down low, you got three cylinders kicking in. Center will turn it off. All the way up will kick all six cylinders in. And those J brakes work way, way nice when you're driving, especially pulling a heavy trailer behind you. Stopping this truck and trailer with just that J brake saves you on your brakes. This is um, air brakes as well. So if you guys are wondering, this is the air brake, foot on the brake. The yellow one, you push down, put the vehicle in, in D and you're ready to drive. Neutral, pull the air brake and that's your parking. Of course, you got your reverse with your air brake down. This particular truck is come pre-equipped with a uh, airline for your trailer. So if you do have a trailer that have air, air brakes, this red switch here is for that. It's pre-wired. The glad hands are in the package we'll give you on purchase. If you guys want to install it, our parts department could do that before you leave the store. I'm oh, sorry, our service department will do that before you leave the store. Prices are amazing over here, so it won't take much to put those glad hands in, into that truck because it's pre-wired. Again, cup holders. Nice little storage box here with a LED light in here. You do have your air horn. This is your line to pull down for your air horn. Right here is your microphone for your Bluetooth and hands-free calling. Your steering wheel. This one is adjustable as well. You do have a third pedal, which you'll see all the way to the top. If you kick that down, you'll be able to adjust that steering wheel whichever way feels comfortable for you while driving. Again, you got your brake pedal, your gas pedal. This one does come equipped with a first aid kit, a fire extinguisher, a bunch of fuses, just in case one burn out, all from Freightliner. And of course, your power mirrors on your driver door. So this truck is fully equipped for what you need it for. Again, this is our last of our 2021s. We'll be introducing our 2022s in a few months. So if you guys are interested in this unit, it is available today, just under 3,000 miles, brand new, all warranty and everything is included. So if you guys want to give me a call today, come and test drive this beautiful truck. Again, my name is Marlon Bledman. Number here is 303-684-3412. Or you could call or text me on my cell at 661-755-4344. Or you guys could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com. Just to give you guys a little hint of some of the vehicles we got in recently. 
we got a 2020 Freightliner M2106 that just came in on trade. We have a 2016 Freightliner M2106 as well that just came in on trade. So we got some really nice trades coming in. So once those are all cleaned up and run for our shop, we will present them here, right here on Facebook Live and YouTube for you guys to see exactly what we're talking about and what we have in stock. Again, check our website for all the pictures we'll be putting on there, all our videos. Again, check our transwest.com website, put in the stock numbers that we provided you earlier, or you could just uh, view all our trucks and stuff in there. So thank you guys for tuning in today. Again, a 2021 Freightliner M2106 Summit Hollow Conversion, the last of our 2021s. Again, thank you guys very much, and I'll see you guys end of the week. <laughs>